Archaeologists reveal the secrets of how the pyramids could be so precise. Before continuing to watch this video, turn on the subtitles. For centuries, the pyramids of Giza have puzzled researchers. Not only because of the hidden rooms and mysterious cavities, but also how the ancient Egyptians built these amazing structures without modern technology. One of the things that is still being debated is how the ancient Egyptians built these pyramids with great precision. Overall, the sides of the Great Pyramid of Giza are perfectly straight and aligned nearly along the cardinal points, north, south, east, west. This is quite surprising, considering that at that time the ancient Egyptians were not familiar with drones, blueprints and computers. However, there are also a few errors found. All three pyramids, two at Giza and one at Dushur, display the same pattern of faults. They rotate slightly anti-clockwise from the cardinal point wrote archaeologist and engineer Glenn Dash in a scientific paper published in the Journal of Ancient Egyptian Architecture. There are many hypotheses about how the ancient Egyptians built the pyramids with such precision, for example by using the pole star or using the sun's shadow. Unfortunately, no one has explained exactly how to do this. In his research report, Dash put forward a simpler theory. His research shows that the ancient Egyptians who lived about 4,500 years ago could use the autumnal equinox to achieve perfect harmony. The equinoxes are considered to be the biannual moment when the plane of the Earth's equator passes through the center of the Sun's disk, causing the days and nights to be nearly equal in length. Previously, the measurement of the equinoxes had been neglected, as it was assumed that they would not provide sufficient accuracy. But Dash's research shows that there is a possible way to use this method, namely by using a stick known as a gnomon. To confirm this, Dash conducted his own experiment, starting on the first day of the 2016 fall equinox, September 22, 2016, and using a gnomon. He traced the shadow point at regular intervals, forming a smooth point curve. At the end of the day, with a rope wrapped around the pole, he cut the curve and created an almost perfect line running east to west. At the equinoxes, surveyors will find that the tip of the shadow travels in an almost perfect straight line from east to west, Dash wrote. He also showed an error of a few degrees slightly counterclockwise, similar to the small error found in the three pyramids. Even though this experiment was carried out in Connecticut, United States of America, Dash emphasized that this trial would also give the same results if it was carried out in Egypt. The main condition is only a clear day and a clear sky. Although Dash's research results show that this technique can be used to align the pyramids, we still don't have strong evidence for this. Unfortunately, the ancient Egyptians left us little clues. No engineering documents or architectural plans have been found that provide a technical explanation of how the ancient Egyptians aligned their pyramids, Dash wrote. We may never know what really happened back then, but this research makes an interesting point. Even something as simple as mapping the lights during the autumnal equinox could be sophisticated enough to align some of the most ancient man-made structures known to man. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you get other interesting videos.